Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. This is literally my fourth time trying to record this video. My camera keeps overheating because I keep talking too much. So I'm going to try to do this as quickly as I can without making it too quick or too fast. And yeah. So this is going to be the third video that I make regarding cooking and cosmetics. Um, the rest of the two videos will be linked down below if you're interested. One is the initial haul and small little demo of me putting them on my eyelids. Um, because I bought the pigments and then the second one is going to be a swatch video that is uncut and unedited and it's going to be using various forms of tools like my finger, a sponge applicator, a blending brush, a flat shader brush um, to see how all of it applies and how well it does. Is that the same thing? I think that's exactly the same thing just set in a different way. So first and foremost I want to say that thank you guys so much for leaving comments on those videos, below those videos, um, educating me on exactly who he is and the things that he's done and he's been a part of. I just want to throw it out there that I, even though I never supported him as, you know, a person, I supported him through his business by giving him my money and you are correct and you're right about that. I never supported him as a person in the sense of being subscribed to him and watching his videos and being part of his little fan base. I was never a part of that and I'm now never going to be a part of it and I'm not going to purchase any more of his cosmetics unless otherwise told by you guys that that's something you want to see reviewed on this channel. So outside of that, whatever he's a part of, whatever he has done, I don't support it. I don't condone it. I don't like bullies. I don't like frauds. I don't like people who take advantage of others. That is completely, that does not line up with what I believe in and who I am as a person. So I just want to say that and say thank you guys for letting me know and educating me in who he is and what he's been a part of. So let's just get into the video in itself, you know, the meat and potatoes. I purchased the pigments. There was a purple shade, there was a vibrant orange, and there was a plummy, brownish, iridescent type of shade. So the two pigments that I was most interested about, pressed pigments that I was most interested about, was the purple shade and the orange shade. The other one was not something that I was like, eh, whatever. I've seen it before. I have it, something similar in my collection. It's not a big deal. The first thing that I tried in the video was the purple shade, and I used my fingers. In that video, I want to let you guys know that when I put it on my eyes, that was a first impression, first just right off the bat what I thought of it because after that video was filmed I went and I washed my face because it was about 11 o'clock at night and I really was not trying to sleep with my makeup on so I went and I washed it and I thought well that's not really fair and I don't like it when I watch people and they do first impressions and they never come back to give an update as to how it worked you may like something on the first use and as you continue to use it you start to notice little things that you don't like and little things that actually bother you about it and you actually stop using the products. So that's what happened here. I really initially liked everything. I thought it was fine. I thought it was perfectly pigmented. I thought it was smooth. It was cool. Everything was all right. But then after using it for a little bit, I started to notice small details that I could not just deal with. So the first thing is upon first application and upon like first hour of wear, they work fine. They're absolutely fine. There's nothing spectacular about them, but they work, they do their purpose. They serve their purpose and that's just being a vibrant pigment on your eyelid. So that's all good. But then they start to crease and then they start to lose pigmentation and then they start to lose the glitter and you're just like, what is going on? I am the type of person that always uses primer if I'm using pressed pigment, I always use primer and glitter glue. So I have my base down packed, like packed, packed down. I know what I'm doing. This did not go well with those pigments. It's still creased, still lost pigmentation, still lost glitter, still did its own thing. And I know it's not my eyelids because other products don't do that to my eyelids and these products do. So whether it's the purple shade or the orange shade, they both do the same thing on my eyelids. So just in general, do not recommend because of wear time. The other thing is staining. So like I said, my main attraction was towards the orange and the purple and not so much the darker purple that had like iridescent 
that shifted between purple and brown. So I don't, I, even if I had the shadows in front of me, I wouldn't be able to tell you which one is which because after you take them out of the container, the back of the shadows, the metal pans do not have names on them, just like on them. So we'll get to that later, but as far as staining, the orange and the bright purple shade do stain. They don't stain semi-permanently, meaning that, you know, they stay there for days or hours. It's just initially after you wipe up, after you wipe your eyes with either a makeup remover pad or um, makeup remover wipes, you're going to have a little bit of staining there. And then afterwards, you have to go in at least two or three times to get all of it, go like all of it gone from your eyelids. So that's another thing. And I noticed that and I mentioned that the orange one does swat does stain the most in the swatch video. So another thing to consider. The last thing that I wanted to mention is something that I'm not sure is either from the pigments or from the environment, meaning the weather, but I did notice that my eyes were a little bit more itchy when I had them on. So I've never experienced itchy or uncomfortableness outside of using loose glitter. And by loose glitter, I mean like loose, loose cosmetic grade glitter. I don't mean pressed pigment. That's not what I mean. That's the only time that I've noticed is when I've been using loose glitter on my eyes and that's normal because glitter is heavier than anything else. So with these I notice a little bit of itching and again I'm not sure if it's 100% due to these pressed pigments or if it's because my eyes are itchy because of environmental factors such as the cold weather right now. So the only way that I could definitely give you an answer is if I try these out in the summer and they still did the same thing. So that's the only way that I knew for sure it's the pigments. But I just wanna put that out there because some people were concerned that other people had irritation to the eyes when they had these pigments on. And I just wanna let you know that I also experienced that. However, I'm not sure if it's because of the pigments or because of the environment. Outside of all of those three major things, which is creasing slash loss of pigmentation after an hour's worth of wear, and um, staining and the irritability. I wanted to mention that packaging wise, it's not the greatest. So what I mean is, of course, after I showed you guys, a lot of you said they look like they're um, inside of barbecue sauce packets for McDonald's. And you're right, it's really cheap packaging. However, I was okay with cheap packaging if the product itself was amazing. That's not the case. So let's go back to the packaging. After you take it out of the white, um, holders that they come in I thought initially you could insert them into a Z palette with no problem that is not the case whatever material it's made out of it's not metal and it's not magnetic so I was like all right my Z palette comes with little magnets that you can stick on pants that are not magnetized they don't stick to those backings that already have like pre-adhesive on them for some reason they don't stick to those either so right now the three pigments that i have from cookie and cosmetics are literally loose on my vanity and that's really annoying because they're soft and if something touches them or if they fall or if they crash somewhere on the floor or even into the sink then all of it breaks apart all of it comes out of the pan so now i'm just sitting here with these three pressed pigments out and about on my vanity on my bathroom counter and I'm like I don't know what to do with these because I'm obviously not gonna keep the barbecue sauce packets that they came in and I, I'm not gonna be able to put them in a Z palette so what should I do with them no really tell me what I should do with them if you know in the comments please tell me because I have tried double-sided sticky tape to stick on those magnets I have tried literally everything and for some reason they do not want to stick down to the pre-adhesive magnets that would go into the Z palette, to the actual Z palette itself, nothing works. So I don't know how I'm supposed to store these. Overall, initial thoughts before all of this, when I had it, I thought it was worth it. I thought it wasn't a bad price point. I thought I got it on time outside of, you know, customer service issues, which I still haven't received an email from them either after I sent my email saying like, hey, I don't have a shipping email or anything like that, saying that it's been sent, where is it? Still haven't heard back from them. And now what do I think after a little while? 
I think you should save your money. I think you should keep it. I, right now, my initial thoughts, my unbiased thoughts, it's not worth it. So that's all I have to say. Um, this is the last video that I'm making on Kuki and Cosmetics, on himself, on anything. I just wanted to come on here and give an update because I, like I said, I hate it when people do a first impression in a haul and then they don't follow up and you just literally never see or hear about the product ever again. I think that's just like, well, what happened to it? Do you just use it one time and then throw it away? Or do you not like it anymore? Do you love it now? Like what happened? And that's all this is, it's just an update. Yeah, so <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video and I hope you subscribe and stick around for more content. Thank you and I'll see you later. Bye.